Hello and welcome to this little update on what has to be my favourite of all the solar generators, the EcoFlow Delta 2 Max. Now, why is it my favourite? Well, really because of the ecosystem that this whole set of things has. It's got these ports in the side here to take what they call an XT150, it's thick cable, joins them all together. So I showed this last time, so this is partly a long-term test on, on using those. I've got the generator I've had for a year now. And there you go, it automatically does it. Just so we can get a sense of uh, the noise. I'll go back and uh, have a little uh, listen from the, the cockpit. I don't think you'll hear it too much in here at all, but let's see. I come and sit in here. Uh, I mean, it's, it's just a, a gentle purring, basically. You can't, can't really hear that at all. I'll put the link to the full video, but this is me testing it just over a year ago, and it's worked really well since. I mean, to be honest, I haven't had to use the generator that often. It's been three or four times, but every time it's, it's pulled us out of trouble. It's been, that's what it's there for. Uh, I mean, the reason we have these is to give us extra capacity on the boat, and we usually try and do that always by solar. They're very good to be charged by solar. This one's even better, so we get into the, the changes, because that, that one that I was showing you before was the original Max. This is the Max 2, so there are some, some key differences which we'll, we'll go through. But there's also an addition to the family of things that come with this EcoFlow system now. This is the EcoFlow Wave. Freezing cold air coming out of there. So that's all very good. And already in here, temperature's down to 22 degrees. So what's that, 71 I think Fahrenheit. So yeah, it's coming down really quite quickly as well, dropping like a stone. It's an air conditioning unit. And yes, don't worry, there is a test coming up on that. I'm using it at the moment, it is brilliant plugs into all this system, that's why I like it. It's really ultra efficient just using everything off these XT150 cables to plug between to charge it. I mean, that, that actual system has its own battery underneath as well, so it can be used as a standalone. You don't need these as well, but it's as good to have them. It just gives you that extra capacity. So while we've got this here then, let me just show you what the differences are, because I've only had this, uh, this EcoFlow Delta Max 2 uh, for a couple of weeks now, but it's working really well. As I say, exactly the same really in the way that you'd look at it on the outside from the, the, the Delta One, the Delta Max One. Uh, it's got all the, the same sort of ports which you'll need, same XD150 ports for plugging between all the different units. It's got the inverter, of course, on the back here. So this is the European version. The, uh, the American version, I think, has more outlets than this. But there is a slight difference in here, you'll see because you've got two PV inputs. So that's the photovoltaic input or just a 12 volt input from your car, whatever you want to use. And they've added another one and that's a really good thing. I've sort of said it before that I think the, the people that make this must be into boats a bit because they're sort of putting things in there that really help you out. So, you know, this means that you can plug two panels in at once. Uh, you can plug in from a cigarette lighter from, you know, if you want to, ch to charge from the engines of the boat as it's running, you could have that in conjunction with uh, some solar at the same time because you've got the two inputs there so that's you know a really useful little addition simple one but a useful one to, to what we're doing so let's let's have a go at this i've got this at the moment and this takes the uh the xt60i inputs which means these are the orange ones the yellow ones are the normal xt6s it'll take those as well but these can take even more bigger capacity so you know it comes with these uh, and if you're plugging something in that's quite a you know a big array it's going to have a lot of power to it then yeah use the xt60 eyes so if i plug this one in uh, i can also I've got another input so i'll plug at the same time an input in to the boat in the uh, cigarette lighter socket there so we're getting 321 watts out of that combined input at the moment but just how you can see that work let me just unplug them again and i'll uh, bring the app up so you can see one by one as we put them through it's this one here so you can see at the moment, 65% charged. Uh, let's plug the, uh, the socket in first of all that goes from the uh, cigarette lighter. So you get about eight amps from this. And let's see, it should be under 100 watts. Let's put it up. And we can see input 65, 76, 86, 106. Oh, I've got just over 100 for a bit, so yeah. 
that's what it's getting. We're on shore power at the moment. Um, I mean, it'll, it'll just charge. It's directly into the ship system. So it's just going to charge from the house batteries, even if it, if it was there. But I normally use this if we've got the engine running, something like that. I know or we've got excess charge. I can just plug it in, keep it there while we're going along and I'm getting an extra 100 watts in. That's great. Um, but I've got this lead as well, which goes to the, the panel that's on the deck. Uh, I also have a, a tee off, as I've showed before, uh, that I can take directly from one of my big panels at the back. So it's, it's good to have sort of options with your, your system on the boat. So I put that in now and you can see we're straight up to 317 watts input now. So that's just the combined watts from both of those things. So it's a really useful thing to have. So we'll show you that's both of them in and it's still got the, uh, the really useful feature up here when you're on mains to be able to bring that down. So it brings the power down. So if you find you're tripping the shore power on the fast charge, you just bring that down and it'll do it slower and not trip things out. And there's another change that you can't see because it's on the inside. This has got LIFEPO4 cells, which most people who have boats know are the safest sort of lithium cells that you can have. It's what you'd always have as your house bank. I mean, these things are pretty intrinsically safe. I've never heard of anyone having a problem with them. They've got breakers galore and BMSs and everything else. It's a very contained unit. But it makes sense on a boat to have the safest thing that's available, which is LIFEPO4. So, you know, it's a really good thing that these have got it now. I'm, I'm happy that this, you know, this has got it. So, I mean, is it something something that you'd need to change. If you've got a Delta 1, should you be upgrading to the Delta 2? Well, no. I mean, it's, there's, there's not enough big changes, I don't think, uh, to, to warrant that. But if you're sort of certainly buying one for, uh, from scratch, then make sure you get the 2s because it's much more suitable for the boat with the Lifeboat 4s um, and with the extra bits that it's, that it's got there. But all in all, I mean, this has been a really good buy. We've had these things for quite a few years now in its different iterations. They've always been good. They've pulled us out of trouble many times. So yeah, great thing to have on a boat.